I uh, setting up again and this is live. Okay. Let's see and then um, let me see. I think we are live now. It takes a few seconds left to to get this up and running. Ayan, we are live and um, so good. Evening, everybody. Take a look. Let me just let me share this. Um, let me share this on the flip. Okay. Okay. Let me just make sure we share this on the flip. Uh, we can get attendees not in the Philippines. Okay. Um, so, good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, today is another episode of Just Success, and I'm very Proud and very happy. Have a special guest not in today. Um, see si Eliazar Yoron, or otherwise known as Lee Yoron. Um, today he's going to share his story, um, how he went from one public school head teacher to a very successful freelancer right now. So thank you for joining us today, Lee. Thank you, sir. Good evening, po. Good evening, good evening. And um, if you're watching this right now, uh, just say hi um, and let us know where you're watching. Well, let us know where you're watching from. Um, we'd also appreciate it if you share this interview uh, with your family or friends. You know, there's, there's a share button um, next to the comments. And because this, this is a really inspiring story. Um, we know you know, there are a lot of teachers in the Philippines and well, it's a spoiling story, but teachers in the Philippines, we don't, they don't earn a lot of money. Um, mga needs, and, and we're going to dive into that later. And if you know mga teachers, my family, kayo, or my friends, kayo, the teachers, um, please share this with them. We'd really appreciate it if you share this with them. So hit that share button um, near the next to the comments. Hey, uh, good evening, Isaiah. Good, hello, Peachy. Hello, uh, Maria. Janicelle, hello, watching from Pangasinan. Hello, Randy from La Union. Uh, Maria from Pangasinan. Ale, uh, Aleg, good evening. Good evening, Maho. Um, Jens, watching from Kuala Lumpur, oh, international time. Uh, uh, hello, Jen. Hello, hello, Mary Jane. Um, Monkey from Pagayan, Mindanao. Uh, Jenna from Baguio. Uh, Mary Cor, good evening. Ang oh, sabi ni Jerk, ang ganda ng view ni Sir Elazar. <laughs> ganda ng view mo talaga. <laughs> yes. Ang ano, parang naka, nakaka-drama, may ano, may background. <laughs> uh, dahil sa walang internet connection. <laughs> oh, ano? Yes. Um, so yeah. So let, let, let's share with audience. Ano nung nangyari sa internet? Why are you outside right now? Share natin. So actually actually kaninang umaga, so nagulat ako. Nung mag-open ako, uh, walang internet connection. So, I called the hotline nila. And then, nakausap ko yung CSR. Sabi niya, uh, Sir, sorry kasi uh, sa area daw namin, may cable daw yung naayos. And it will be fixed within three, three working days. Sabi ko, ay, takal. Nag-ano ako, sabi ko, paano kaya to? So, try kong mag-data. Lumabas, kaya lumabas ako. Dito lang may data sa loob. Wala. Walang. Sa ng bahay, walang data. So, kaya nasa labas ako, kaya maraming puno sa labas. <laughs> nasa, ano, you're from Zamboanga City, di ba? Yes. Uh, actually, sir, Zamboanga del Norte. So, napunta lang kami dito ngayon. Bisita-bisita. Oh. My, my, my wife is in Zamboanga del Norte. Dipolog. Ah, Dipolog. Okay. Yes, yeah. sir. I'm familiar with, with the city. Oh, um, pero... pero Mm-hmm. Ay, ay, Pero head teacher ko, sir, sa... Hello? Hello, hello. Yeah, you're, you're cutting in and out, pero try na natin. Hello, hello? Can you hear me? Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I sir. can hear you. Um, so, you were saying head teacher ka saan? Yes, sir. Sa Taguig City po. Ah, Division... sa Taguig. Taguig City and Pateros. <coughs> okay. Okay. So you you were in ano, in the Metro Manila area before you came back to Tumbangan City. Mm-hmm. Yes. Sir. Oh, and and well, 
when so nung nasa tagig ka when you were working as a teacher paano naman yung yung family mo paano that work ah mm-hmm. uh, sana wala ma Magalito. Actually, uh, siguro sa, ako, sa akin na a child, na panganay namin child, is uh, mayroon siyang PTA. So, ang tawag na patin ductus arteriors. So, mayroong mga butas yung kanyang puso. So, kailangan siyang operahan at tayo. So, ang nangyari, uh, na-operahan siya. So, since isa lang akong teacher, so what what I did, nag-loan. So, ang pinakamataas na ma-loan that time is only 400,000. So, pag head teacher ka, magkaloon ka na sa bank ng 400,000 plus yung natira na sahod mo is 3,000 that time. Sinala pa yung ATM sa other lending institution. So, actually, wala na po talang ng super para lang operan yung bata. So, uh, I go into freelance. Search lang ako, sir. Nag-search ako that time kung ano pong pwedeng pagkakitaan online. So, yun. Hmm. nag Oh, saka ko nakita yung pwede pa lang maging virtual assistant. Oh, so, yeah. So, so going, next time. So, the next time. Uh, so going back to yung story mo. Um you were working is uh, let's go back sa background, parang origin story mo. Kumbaga yung um you were working in well, you you originally from Zamboanga and then um you moved to Taguig like a area for her yes, because you got the head teaching job now about yes sir and then at that time um can you share like how much were you earning then as a head teacher as as teachers as head teacher as head teacher sir salary grade 14 so around 26 uh less deduction so ang mga take home na lang na sa 24 24,000 a month. 24,000 mm-hmm. mm-hmm. 24, a month. Tapos head teacher ka na. No? Yes, so parang, ano, uh, parang senior uh, or, or meron ka mga teachers at their youth. Yes, I have 11 teachers under me. Oh, wow, grabe. Yeah. So okay. parang laki ng responsibility mo. Um, and then you were earning 24,000 a month. Sa, sa, and then nasa tagig area ka pa. So I don't... Um, Lahat cost of living. <laughs> oh, that's true. And then, um, yung yung sinabi mo, um, your your can you can you share with us a bit like, yung what, anong anong parang condition ng ng elders niyo? Ah, uh, nung nilabas siya, sir, sa mayro na siyang PDA, patin mm-hmm. ductus arterius. Uh, it means na merong mga butas sa kanyang puso. So which is kailangan siyang i-repair kasi pag pag ano siya hindi siya maka ano ng food intake. I, in, isusukan niya lahat 'yon. So we stay in uh, Makati Med for for almost a month. Mm-hmm. So doon kami masyadong mahirap na nga kami, sobra pang kumbaga nadiin na talaga kami. Oo. So Makati Med one month and then Almost. Bill, yes, sir. Bill. Yes, professional fee pa lang sa doktor. Pagtingin pa lang nila, 2,000 na yun. <laughs> Kaya nilipat namin siya sa Manila Doctors. So, doon siya na-operahan. Mm-hmm. And then, you, like yung sinabi mo, no? like, when, for for that operation, kulang talaga yung earnings mo, no? To pay yes, for it. Kulang. Yes, kulang. Yes. And talaga. Kaya, you had, sabi mo, you had to get, makano yung, yung, you had to get a 400,000 peso doon? Kasi, ay, kasi nabutok-butok ka kanina, so we didn't get, how, how much was, the, how much did you have to spend for the operational loan? Uh, one, 1.1 M. X, 1.1 million. Yes, sir. Uh, pero oh. aside from that, we raised almost 600, Okay. So the rest are donations, mm-hmm. donations from friends, from relatives, and, and so on. So many things that we donate. Kaya nabuo namin. Well, what did you 
had you had your resources you know your, your friends and relatives um but aside from that it was you're still able to you still needed to get a loan yung 400,000 um and then like in sabi ko ni snow kanina parang wala wala na kayong pero yung take home mo after all the deductions of the buyer loan was only 3,000 pesos no yes sir uh pag teacher ka that time ngayon kasi sir 5,000 na ang pinaka matake home mo so dati pag sagad mong loan so mayroon ka matake home na 3,000 pero ang ginawa ko that time sinanla ko kung baka yung 3,000 sinanla sa isang lending institution so yun lang yung requirement eh para sila nang kukuha noon so ganun so in short baka Baka na yung nakukuha mo at, like, at the end of every month? Wala na, sir. As in, wala, wala na natira Zero. para sa... Yes. So, kumita lang kami sa... Dito, sa VA. Pakunti-kunti. At, 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 at that time. <laughs> nung, nung hindi ka pa VA, di ba, let's start. When, when was this? When 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 did yung, yung operation pala? What, what, what month and year was this pala, if I can ask? Ah, uh, actually, sir, na operahan siya ano pa 2000 uh, six, six, ano na, six, ma- 6 years ago na. So 2012. 2012. Oh. And then you've been so you've been paying off. Oh, you you've been paying off the loan for ilang years. You've been Kasi recently ka lang pumasok sa, <laughs> sa financing, di ba? So, how did you survive nung time na yun? Nung parang ilang years na parang wala kang, as you said, parang wala kang take home? Yes, sir. Dati, dati kasi, yes, sir. Dati kasi nag, nagtag-try na ako ng, ano, ng transcribing that time. Pero hmm. ang itla ng ita eh. Tapos, nag-online selling din kami. Na, nag-online selling kami. So, yes. so sa Facebook o oh, nag-practice ako paano i-market tong product namin gumawa ng Facebook page doon kasi wala na kaming ano eh, wala na kaming other source of income so yun so at least you're still able to eat naman diba at least may magkakain pa kaya yes, kaya sir. that time oo kahit pa paano nakakain naman pero yung hindi yung usual na kumbaga kanin lang tapos may konti ng ano na mm. so parang ano talaga yung tipid super tipid na kain ano? yes so uh, and 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 I, I just want to get parang a clear picture kasi like um all all your yung yung buong salary mo was going off to paying mga loans and then may mga sidelines ka di ba like, basically um, I'm selling online yeah. kanon, yung, uh, parang gigs part time um and how much how much were you mm. were you getting from mga gigs to to be able to sustain your monthly income come again sir like like how much sir, no? you, 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 some, some uh, sidelines some uh, gigs how much were you earning from from mga uh, sidelines that it ah uh, malit lang sir eh basta pang pambili lang ng kuan pambili lang ng ng siguro ulam mga ana lang siya siguro nasa sa isang araw malaki na yung 300 pesos o ganun lang ka ano sir as in uh, ganun lang kaliit and, and living in Metro Manila ang laki ng expenses doon yes so that, 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 na, yes go ahead mm-hmm. Oh, go ahead, you're, you're saying something, sorry. No, that's <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, okay. But we'll, we'll still get this, get, get through it. So, at, at, nung, nung time na yun, um, yeah, and, and then when did you, so you were looking, di ba? Kasi you weren't, you were looking for more ways to, parang mga sideline ganon and then um, mga online di ba? How, how did you how you hear about yung yung earning online pala? 
Ano sir, how? How did you how did you hear about about yung mga earning online mga ganun? Oh sir, uh, kasi sir, di ba nag may mga Facebook page ako ng ginawa para i-market tong mga products namin na na binili lang din namin doon, no? So every time na nag-view ko, may nakikita akong ano na mga freelancers na post. So pero hesitant ako ng ano kasi nag-try ako dati. Sabi ko bak bakit ano ang hirap naman yung transcriber nga ang sakit sa atin nga tapos minsan din mas anit lang kita pero totoo ba yung sinabi nilang gano'n? Nang sinakita ko lang until na uh, na-view ko yung ano mo yung page mo tapos yung tapos may ano doon kinikilig ko tapos na-redirect ako doon papunta sa isang parang W uh, work from home o oh, dito doon tapos oh. nakita ko yung video Oh, video mo. So sabi ko, why not ano, i-try ko? Parang nasa Thailand ka at noon or something. Mm. So tinatry ko. Oo, that was ano last September. Tapos nag-enroll ako since wala akong wala akong cash. If you're going to notice, nag-installment ako. <laughs> nag-installment ako that time. Mm, kasi uh, inis- inisip ko kung hindi ako maghanap ng ibang work. Kasi yung sahod ko talaga is kulang lang sa interest doon sa inuutang kong pera. No? So, kumbaga, ang interest ganito, tama lang pambayad doon. So, I look for other opportunity. So, yun, na nakuan ko hanggang natutunan ko yung nakalagay doon sa lahat na video presentations mo. And then, doon na, nag-start na. Ginamit ko lang, in-apply ko na. Oh. Mm-hmm. So, well, so like sabi mo, di ba, parang nag-installment ka lang kasi you kasi you really didn't have extra money at that time, no? Yes, sir. Um, tapos may, if you are going to not sir, mayroon nga akong time na two days ata, di ba, automatic nakaltas yun sa PayPal. E since walang fund naman yung chikas na nakatouch doon, so, nakat yun, hindi na ano, Umabot ng two days, saka ko lang napunduhan. Ang hiram ako noon para lang mapunduhan. <laughs> tapos, tapos nag-message ako sa inyo. O, tapos nabalik yung, ano, yung pag-access ko. So okay. hanggang natapos ko talaga siya. Mm-hmm. And, but how, so, how were you? Because uh, if, uh, parang at, at that time, you, you really didn't have extra money. You, you must have really believed in freelancing, no? To, to invest mm-hmm. sa CV. Yes, sir. Yeah, no? And you saw, well, did you you watch the mga interviews at that time, no? Yes, sir. Oo, oh, nanonood ako kung ano ba yung mga nasa interview. Kung ano, at saka, napa, nasa isip ko talaga sa tuto ba to? <laughs> na Kahit nakapag-training ako, tuto ba to? Kasi ang hirap pa din eh. Ah, uh, Nagkaroon ako ng client isa, tapos ah, na-approve ako, tapos nagkaroon ako ng client isa, tapos nakuha na ako, sir, uh, suspend, suspended pa tawag nun? Oo, oh, oh, so ako. Uh, na oh, suspended ako, for, tapos nag, na, umapila ako. Ayun, binalik naman kasi yung, yung client ko, ma, maana din eh, siya din mismo, nag, nag-ano din siya na, nag-start na daw kami sa work. Mm. So, sige, and, and we'll probably go back to that later. Um, pero so, let, you, you enrolled sa bootcamp September, di ba? So, and, and, and natapos mo. Kailan mo, kailan mo natapos yung lessons? Sir, ang tagal ko natapos. Pero by first week of October, may client na ako. Hmm. So, like, enrolled sa September? Sa mga... Ah, so, ano? September. So, hindi ka, patap- yes. hindi ka patapos sa, sa bootcamp, may client ka na? Yes sir kasi ah, nagtaka din ako sir kasi pag open ko ng app or ginamit ko yung ano ko yung yung email ko approve na siya so di ko alam kung nakapag-sign up na ako kasi nakalagay doon ang na-approve ako 2000 ano pa 13 ah pa gumawa ka dati eh. hindi mo na <laughs> nakalimutan mo na siguro <laughs> oh possible sir tapos mm-hmm. yun nag-apply na ako 
nag-apply so nag nag-apply ka um October oh, nag-apply ka October like from from the date na nag-start ka nag-apply like how how long did it take for you to get hired? Yeah, sir, hindi ko masyado marinig sir. From from the date that you started applying for mga jobs on Upwork, how long did it take for you to get your first job? Ah, actually sir, nag-apply ako two applications lang kasi nakalagay doon sa ano mo sa sa videos mo na kung wasya dong ano so two applications ang isa sumagot mm -mm, sumagot siya sa akin na uh, isa daw ako sa possible na kukunin niya so nat 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 natuwa naman ako and then uh, nagbigay siya ng sample work tapos video kung paano gagawin mm -hmm. eh nagawa lang naman yan sir is ano nang magpagawa lang siya ng ng Facebook page tapos magran ako ng ano ng uh, uh, advertisement oo oh, oo oh, oh. so yung ginagawa ko na yun eh so, after noon sinabit ko sa kanya tapos natuwa siya binigyan ako agad ng 50 50 dollars wow wala pa pagkuan yes sir 50 dollars nagulat nagulat nga ako eh tapos Offer tapos, pag-offer, pinigyan niya ang $50. Okay, you can start. Sabi niya gano'n. Every, uh, every, ano, mag-post ka ng ganito. Yun ang sinabi niya. So hanggang ngayon, client ko pa siya. Ayun, sa so parang $50 agad, na, na, laking surprise yun, no? Sample tapos. Yes, sir. And, tapos um, every time na masubmit yung... Sure. Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Every time na makapag-submit ako ng, ano, ng kanyang pinapagawa ahead of time, so may bonus po siya binibigay. So, galante po. Siguro ganun talaga siya. <laughs> galante. Ayos. So, ano, how did you, kasi yung ibang, yung ibang mga nag-apply sa Upwork, parang they, it takes them like weeks or months before makakuha na yung first client nila. Um, and for you, the long applications lang, you got hired na agad. Ano yung, ano yung sikreto mo dun? Yeah. Uh, sinunod ko lang yung, ano sir, yung AIDA. Ah, yung sa, sa bootcamp, mm. yung, ano, yung outline. Pag, sa bootcamp, tapos in-edit ko yung profile ko. Oh. Lahat lahat in-edit ko, tapos yung mga natutunan sa bootcamp na output. So, oh. nilagay ko dun sa profile ko. O, tapos akala akala siguro niya sobrang galing ko kasi sabi niya uh, uh, nakita niya yung profile ko uh, ex I have excellent profile pero uh, I'm still learning sa sa sarili ko I'm still learning kasi ang, ang inanap niya sir is rockstar virtual assistant oh. tapos beginner pa kaya ako kaya oh, may entry lang o, tapos um, pag may pinapagawa siya hindi ko na intindihan nagtatanong ko sa kanya and minsan pinapanood ko sa YouTube. Mm -hmm. Kasi hindi hindi mo hindi mo pa natapos ang ano, bootcamp at that time. And then uh, pero, pero you went through yes, yung sir. lessons yung um, like like Lee was saying parang pinanood niya yung lessons sa parang gumawa ng cover letter para sa gumawa ng proof and yun lang sikreto niya. And, and that's that's great to hear na parang you were able to apply yung natutunan mo. Um, okay, and your is this your client mo that, that hired you at that time? Siya pa rin yung client mo ngayon? Or iba pa? Yes, sir. Siya, siya po. Ah, siya pa rin yung client ko. Hmm. Kasi, uh, kumbaga sir, from uh, social media marketing, yung mga ganun sir, dinivert niya yung ano ko, yung work. Kasi uh, during our conversation, I mentioned that I am a teacher, a mathematics hmm. teacher. Since They, they own a tutorial center. At the same time, they have school. So, yun ang sinabi niya. So, what if, uh, can you do uh, curriculum writing or can you do uh, module writing? Yun ang sabi niya. And regular posting on my blogs. O magagawa ko naman yun lahat. Kaya sabi niya, okay. Niya, hindi niya ako pinitawan. So, so, yung ibang, so, yung ibang so, business. Yung, yung ibang yes, business sir. that you were also working on them did. Yes, sir. 
Uh, you were saying, sorry, sorry. Because I made that. <laughs> Say, go ahead, go ahead. It's not okay. Okay, sir. Oh, what were you saying? You were saying something earlier? Ah, uh, yun nga, sir. Ah, uh, yung, yung ibang work. Uh, binigyan niya ako ng ibang work aside from uh, managing doon sa Facebook page nila. So, nadagagan yung number of hours mm -hmm. na from one hour a day. So, nagawa na siyang three hours a day. So, ganun na po yung ano. Kasi marami, marami na siyang task na, na binigay. And you were earning at first. I, I remember I saw your, your starting rate noon. Um, October last year, no, was five dollars per hour at that time. Yes, oh, five hours per hour. Tapos pang mayroon siyang lumalaki lang siya kasi marami siyang pagibigay na bonus. After na. But what, one thing that that I know that, that I that I liked in about your story is like start kasi five dollars per hour. Pero yung di ba in increase kani client? Pang ilang ano lang ilang weeks lang? <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, ano, sir? Three, three weeks, so zero, nine. In increase, sir, into 9.32. Uh, guys, lately lang ako ginawa. Uh, uh, lately lang ako ginawa ang $25. Pero minsan po yatan kasi tumat kailangan niyang kung kausapin na kating gabi. <laughs> Yun lang yung daw. Pero okay naman. Matulog lang ako sa tanghal eh. Oh, so twenty-five dollars per hour, pa naman, di ba? Yes, sir. Oh, and and in one, you know, in one year, is it mga last year, next start ka? Well, even before last year, let's say, nung mga September of two thousand seventeen, you were earning, I know, uh, twenty-four thousand per month. Sa ano? Sa sa job mo, twenty-four thousand divided by hundred sixty. So mga yes, mga three dollars per hour yun kinumpit ka lang sa calculator three dollars per hour yun um, or less than three dollars per hour mm -hmm. tapos um, sa October last year you were you started sa freelancing five dollars per hour so almost double yung salary and then after ilang weeks yes, naging nine dollars and thirty cents per hour so dumoble a bit <laughs> ganon yes sir and then now nasa twenty five dollars per hour one year yes, sir. Ang, 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 ang layo ng, ng earnings mo compared to before um, did you ever ano did you ever think na this would happen nung pumasok ko sa freelancing ah uh, actually sir hindi ko inisip na ganoon ang mangyari so nagulat lang ako basta lagi na yung sinasabi sa akin uh, be responsible to your job lagi na every time na mag-message sa akin na this uh, complete the task on time. So ahead of time, I submitted the, uh, the kung, kung halimbawa, pinapagawa niya is module, so I submitted it ahead of time. So kasi ganun lang kadali yung mga task niya na binigay sa akin, pinapagawa ko ng pieces, even lesson plan pinapagawa niya. And then, pag nasubmit on time, yun, siguro ganun ang ano niya sa, even PowerPoint presentation during meetings, meeting sa mga employee niya, ako ang pinapagawa. So, ganun. Oo. Ganun lang po yung trabaho, sir. Which is, uh, which is, mas madali na trabaho compared nung head teacher ako. <laughs> ako kasi dati, may 11 teachers ka pa. Um, stressful pa yung, yung mag-manage ng iba't ibang tao. Um, pero now, parang you're just doing yung PowerPoint, yung mga lesson plan, which is which for you, is parang easy for you, di ba? Kasi may experience ka nun, ilang years yung experience ko sa teaching. Um, and you're earning parang, so much yes. more, so much more right now. No? Yes, sir. And, and, and aside from that, um, like what I, what I like then is you're, you're back in, you're back with your family, you're back to your province na, di ba? Wala ka na sa Metro Manila. Yes. Na, na, nandito na kami sa probinsya, sir, kasi yun, sobrang, ano, kasi isa, one reason din, uh, sinabi ko sa ng doctor, ng, hindi lang doctor, doctors talaga ng mga anak, ng anak ko, na kailangan 
dalhin siya sa lugar na uh, hindi masyadong polluted yung air. No? Mm-hmm. So, you know, inamig siya. No? Para sama-sama na kami dito. Oh, oh, oh. And, and you're you're with your ano your family na yung extended family niyo. It's you're together with them na um, alam ko sa Metro Manila. And, and that's stressful talaga yung Metro Manila, di ba? Yes. Oh, um, so it, 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 I'm very happy for you. Yes, <laughs> You're able to earn that. Um, you're able to spend time with your family. And plus, yung pinaka importante yung anak mo, di ba? He is able to stay um, in a place na is is more is better for your health niya. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Um, well, so right now you're earning twenty five dollars per hour. Um, and would would it be okay if you share about what you're earning and earnings for right now? Okay, in I'm earning twenty five dollars for one for my one client, and I have other client also. So actually, uh. Uh, mayroong ako isang client na uh, pinapag pinapaano may papagawa siya tapos kumbaga parang nagano ako sir nag subcon no? so kung di ko kaya si oh mayroon naman akong kilalang mga ibang mga teachers na magagaling din sa math so yun binigyan ko sila ng task ganito tapos ang ginagawa ko lang double check na lang oh, double check uh, so maliban doon nakatulong po ako nakatulong po sa kanila and na kumita din ako. So, ganun po ang, ang scenario ngayon. So, multiple clients. Um, and then you're, you're outsourcing pa sa mga friends mo na ibang na teachers din. Yes. Um, ayos na. You, 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 it sounds like you're, you're doing exceptionally well like as, a, as a freelancer right now. Mm-hmm. Kasi oh. gusto ko... Gu- Uh, gusto ko rin makatulong sir kasi uh, hindi actually hindi lang naman ako ang teacher ngayon na ganun ang nangyari no so ako good for me kasi na yung mga loans ko is nabayaran ko na so meron din po talagang ibang teachers na yun malapit o oh, sige tutulungan kita mayroon akong mayroon akong task yan kasi tulungan mo ako so minsan nasa bahay kami o minsan nakita kami sa isang isang restaurant tapos doon Uh, yun, tinuro ko sa kanila kung paano. Tapos, yun na, forward ko na sa kanila kung anong gagawin. Tapos, sinasabit nila sa akin, sinasabit ko sa client ko. So, nice. gano, check ko na lang ko. You're able to help others. I, ano, i, i affiliate mo yun sa, ano, sa bootcamp din. <laughs> yung mga... Yung mga <laughs> Sige, pwede. Oo, oh, um, sir. And, and um, I, I've been looking at the comments here. Maraming na-inspire sa story mo, di ba? Parang, You 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 see other interviews that inspire and right now you're inspiring others. And guys, if you have questions, um, please feel free to post them sa comments. Uh, we'll we'll be asking um, our questions um, right now. We have a number of questions here. Um, thank you, uh, Maria Fatima is, is giving me. Thank you, Maria, for for giving that. Um, sabi ni Maria Jane, I can relate to your story, sir. The I am a teacher here in Masbate City and also seeking for online jobs. Uh, So uh, I'm late, so yeah. um, sharing. Thank you for sharing, guys. Yeah, and, and please, please share this with your family and friends. Yeah, I, I really appreciate if you share it. Um, si Jenisa, waiting for the interview from a public school teacher. Oh. Um, itong sa tanong ni Alec na, uh, did you go to trainings before you became a VA or online freelancer? sa bootcamp sir sa VA bootcamp wala, wala kang ibang trainings na na uh, bootcamp well, yung iba na wala doon sinisearch ko lang sa YouTube mm-hmm. okay so yung parang yung yung ano lang yung parang foundational skills mo yung what you learn sa bootcamp um, and then yung iba parang self study na yung additional skills mo yes So, so virtual VA, so, like na VA bootcamp, um, that's our training course, so vabootcamp.ph, um, that, that's what uh, Lee went through. Um, thank you for your, uh, can, yes, next, uh, last September shall like, start, May, know, this September, last year, last year in September. Uh, 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 um, ano pong, nasagot na to, ano pong niche nyo, um, you're more into parang yung, yung, ano, yung learning and development, no? Yes, sir. Uh, 
social media, ang ano ko lang talaga social media marketing and aside from that curriculum writing more on writing ano educational writing mm. Uh, sabi sa ganda ng background mo pero okay wala na. na. Sa so, may may sabi kanina parang ano, akala uh-huh. niya painting yung background mo. At <laughs> first. Uh, good evening, good evening. Ang dami good evening. Uh, I'm looking at the comments. Uh, what year po first client uh, yeah, September of last year. Um, akala painting. Uh, first time sa labas ng bahay interview. <laughs> first time daw. Um, yeah, uh-huh. first, first time <laughs> outside the house. Uh, watching from Taiwan, daw may inspire watching. Hello, internet. Hello. Oh, hello, like internet. Amin ah, nung palakan nila. Sino bang if pwede mong sabihin, sino bang internet provider niya? Hello, Ay, pwede ba sabihin, sir? Uh, up to you, ikaw. <laughs> pwede ba sabihin, sir, yung internet provider? Pwede, pwede ikaw. Hello. Masaya naman. Uh, baka magali sila sa akin. PLDT po. <laughs> Kill DT, bro. Ang dami na rin. issues lately sa real DT. Yes, sir. Tapos, ang tagal na ngayon pag tumawag. Oo, oo. Oh, oh. oh. Internet sa Pilipinas. Um, anyway, change, balik tayo sa freelancing. Huwag na tayo. Huwag na tayo sa mga negative topic. Oh, so, so paano pala yun? Diba sabi three days yung repair? So, how are you doing your work? Puro data ka lang? Patayin ko muna yung video. Ah. Um, so, naglalag. Oh, naglalag. Hello, hello. I mean, yung ganit. Uh, pag- hello? Hello, D? Hello. Hello, yes. I'm here, sir. Ah. Okay, pinatay ko muna yung video mo kasi grabe na yung, yung live. Um, so, paano yun? You've been using your data lang to do your work? Yes, sir. Pag pag ano kasi sir is yes, uh, nagagamit lang namin ang ano pag nag video call. Kasi every minsan 2 AM dito sa atin, tung uh, kailangan naming mag-usap kung ano pa yung dapat gagawin, ano pa yung mga task. Kailangan pa usapan so para may short orientation siya. Doon lang namin magagamit 'yon. Tapos pag nag-submit ka ng mga mga output, pero not necessarily na no. Pero may isa kong client, sir, na kailangan po talaga kasi research show, internet research. Pero ano lang naman yun, sir? Uh, ang tawag nito? Uh, di, hindi siya hourly. Okay. Mm, project-based. Huh? Project-based. And, and, and that's good to hear. At least um, when, like times na right now na nakaproblema yung internet mo, um, mo, kasi most of your work, is you can do naman kahit walang internet like sinabi mo. So I, I guess you're using yung PowerPoint, yung Word, ganun. you're just drafting, ganun, and creating content. No? Yes. Mm-hmm. Pero of course, you still need internet. Um, and what's good is, is you have you have at least yung backup connection, which is very important. Na, naka, 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 may pocket, wi- pocket Wi-Fi ba yung backup mo? Mm-hmm. Ay, hindi, sir. Sa cellphone lang po. Hotspot ah, lang. Nag-hotspot sa cellphone? My mobile phone. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, that, that's good. You should always have a backup connection. Um, and if ever, wala yung hotspot, like, wala yung wala din yung data, um, may may internet cafe naman na malapit. Or, or, ano. Yes, mayroon naman, sir. Pagkailangan, kailangan, so punta ka talaga sa internet cafe and it costs only 15 pesos per hour. Oo, oh, oh, oh. which is, if you're earning $25 per hour, <laughs> wala lang $15, 15 pesos per hour na nabayaran mo sa internet cafe. Uh, oh, last September, nag-start, uh, may, isayang may tanong sa Upwork, may kaltas yung Upwork. But you're right now. Um, your all your clients are Upwork, ba? Yes, sir. Sa sa Upwork po. Ang kaltas lang ng Upwork, sir, is only 10% percent na lang. Ah, oh, okay. Kasi naka higher higher level, higher tier ka na. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So that's a 10%. percent. Twenty percent siya at first, pero si Lee is at um, the ten percent level for her in kaltas ng Upwork. Um, yeah, um, niche niya is uh, learning and development. Um, sabi ni Alec, nakakabili, 
kakablib si sir accept lang ng challenge kahit newbie lang siya. Mm-hmm. And, and that's one of the things na that a lot of people uh, that hold a lot of people back. Kasi parang they're, they're scared na parang takot sila to, to accept yung first jobs. Pero what Lee did and you see is very successful right now um, kahit newbie pa lang siya kahit yung client was looking for a rockstar VA na para may experience na Lee still parang took the challenge na, and applied for the job. Hindi, hindi siya natakot. Um, he still went forward um, with the the job that he applied for. Um, is there something Lee that you can share parang regarding like how how you were able to get the courage or how you able to get the confidence to do that? Ah uh, yes sir. So uh, yung courage and confidence siguro sir nakuha ko doon kasi kasi naghirap na kami. So dahil sa kahirapan so you are going to do something no para ka kasi uh, hindi ko naman pabayaan yung maintenance ng anak ko is 1000 per day para lang sa gamot para maka-recover siya. So saan ko yun hahanapin? So I I have to do something. So kaya yun ang nag-motivate sa akin and kahit anong pinapagawa ni client, ginagawa ko and I submitted it ahead of time para lang ano. And then uh, the good thing is si client concern sa ano sa sa sarili ko, sa personal ano ko kasi uh, every time na mag-usap kami tinatanong talaga niya about my family background and she even know kung anong nangyari sa anak ko and every time na nag-uusap ko yung gising yung anak ko uh, kakausapin niya oh, so yun po yung ano so swerte lang ako uh, swerte lang ako kay ano kay kay client talaga and 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 that's that's parang i've heard that the same parang the same thing before na um <coughs> dahil sa i call it desperation na uh, that's why na parang you don't have any room for fear hindi ka hindi ka na matatakot kasi wala ka ng ibang choice di ba except to really do your best um, and that at that time isipin niyo um Lee had to pay 1000 pesos per day para sa maintenance ng anak niya tapos may utang pa siya um, so he, it's not so much na may fear it's that wala siyang choice wala siyang ibang choice kundi gawin niya yun that, and and that's I, I've, i've heard that from others din parang when you have no other choice you really do anything Um, to to be able to survive, to be able to earn, um, and that's what happened to you, no? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. That's what I have. Uh, yun po talagang nangyari. Oh, 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 oh. Like ako nga minsan, parang personally minsan parang nakakatamad ganon. Because well, right now hindi, hindi I, I I have parang money, and sometimes like tayo we don't give our best. Kasi hindi tayo desperate. Pero at times na, na parang we really need it, um, that's when lumalabas yung, yung, yung best na version natin na, we'll, mm. na kind of we'll really do it no matter what. Na ganun, yung, yung determination na ganun. Um, and, and one thing though, I want to point out is yung sinabi mo kanina, you always submit ahead of time. No? Yes, sir. Kasi in-emphasize din ni client na no, please submit on time. So, pero ako, ginaw ko ahead of time. So, siguro natuwa siya. Kaya nagbibigay talaga siya ng bonus pag ganun. Ahead of oh. time. Oh, gan- ganun. And, and that's something na parang you're showing your best to the client. Um, I think we can all learn from that. So, there are times yun nga. Parang sabi ni client, Friday, Friday ko na gawin. Ganun, or Thursday ko na gawin. Pero what Lee did, a few days before, tinapos niya agad. No? Mm-hmm. And that's why the client, yung client na yun, increased, double yung earnings niya, and yun, $25 per hour siya um, with that client. Um, because he was always, Lee was always showing, parang yung best, yung best niya, yung best work niya sa client. Um, may nagtanong dito, um, are you working Parang, so how many parang how many hours are you working per day? Uh, dalawa yung parang related na question. Jabi and Rita. So how many hours a day do you work? Uh, actually, sir, sa client ko na $25. So may kota kasi ako na kailan matapos ko 40 hours. 
Okay, may, reg- may regular ano kasi ako, 40 hours a week. So, kailangan tapa- tapusin nyo. So, whether I like it or not. So, yung 40 hours tapusin ko. So, yun po. So, kung baga pumapata ko sa 8 hours, Monday to Friday. Okay, okay. So, 40 hours per week um, is what... And, and parang ano lang, parang tama din naman. You're, you're, you're just working 8 hours per day uh, at 25 dollars per hour. Na, yes. That's a very good rate. <laughs> oh. Yes, sir. So, yung, yung one month na sahod ko as head teacher before, makukuha ko lang in 5 days. <laughs> Ay, hindi lang 5 days, 3, three days siguro. Yan <laughs> po. Grabe. Oh, um, yes. Parang 20 days of working, 3 days na ngayon. Uh-huh. Uh, sabi ni Dennis, by an inspiring, inspire siya sa'yo, uh, also a teacher. Kilala pa yun, sir. Yes, sir. From she, uh, He is from Upper Bikutan National High School. So, yung school nila is katabi lang sa school namin. So, ah, kilala yeah. niya ako. <laughs> Ang makita mo. Um, uh, Helen, watching from Qatar, right? Uh, hopefully, we can... We, we've also been bringing mga OFWs back to the Philippines. Um, so, being boot camp then. So, um, hopefully, we can we can help you um, come back to the Philippines then, Helen. Um, si Alagna will enroll this week. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, si Jaya na inspire sa story mo, Jaya Abadeos. Um, uh, sabi ni Maria Fatima, I'm a college teacher as well, so I know yung super give it feeling. <laughs> Basta teacher, yeah. no? alam niyo yan, yung mga give it feeling. Um, looking forward to have a successful freelancing career like yours. So, sobrang nakaka-inspire, sabi ni Al Janelle. Uh, si Dan Sherry, okay lang, sir. PLDT. Okay, sir. Oh, yung PLDT sa Cebu actually was is has been okay. Um, pero sa sa Luzon and sa Mindanao pa may mga issues. Budil lang sa Cebu yes. Stable siya. Sana na, sana sana wala problema. Uh, well, globe naman ako. <laughs> and okay. Uh, first week of training uh si Renz. Uh, nice, nice. Um, ano yung question niya? Ah, uh, sabi ni Jay, ako din nung I feel napaka-problemado ko doon. Ako talaga nagpursigi and parang we have the same client ko concern for my family. Kaya until now, um, I earn her and give me a bonus too. Kaya I show my best talaga sa work. Oh. Kaya, it's very important to really give your best to the clients. Um, sabi ni Maria Fatima, you have good work ethics. That's why that's why you're blessed. So parang it's not just kasi like of course, you, it's it's important for you to have well finding a good client um, is nice. Pero you can't find a good client. Kung ikaw mismo yung wala kang work ethic um, and you don't have you, 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 the right attitude and the right behavior. So um, I, I want to congratulate congratulate you on that. Thank you. You're 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 welcome. Like, I don't, data. Um, sabi ni Jonah, um, anong inavail nyo sa bootcamp? Like which package? Yung ano yun sir eh. Uh, 7,000 plus na din. Oo, oh, yung accelerated. Accelerated, oo. Oh. Pero yung ano? Yung... Pero an- installment. Oh, oh. Kasi so, pwede siyang installment via via PayPal tapos kung mapuduhan yung ano sa kanila lang siya mapapasok so yeah um he got the accelerated na ano, na installments um yung niche yung niche ni um Elazar is um you're doing more on well curriculum development and then mga ibang you're still are you still doing Facebook advertising right now yes sir. sa kanila lang din and sa, then sa presentation sa ibang sabi ko kanina mga powerpoint din ganoon sa mga daily tasks oh mm-hmm. yes um so yeah parang may mix ganoon pero more focused on curriculum development at uh, tanong ni Luis Miguel sir what to do next right after ko magtake ng online free course ay ha, may 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 advice ko kaba nito Hello. Uh, Hello. Um, sa, ni Luis, what to do right after ko mag-take ng free course? 
So yung five day pre course pala. Pero kakatapos na lang sa pre course. Ah, oo. After? So hindi ako naman ng ano eh, ng free ano. Na-meretso na ako dun sa accelerated. Ay hindi hindi ka hindi ka dumaan sa pre course pala. Hindi sir. Kasi pag pagkita ko, that time kasi may promo po kayo. Ah, oo, oo, oo. tama, tama. Um, yung... May promo. So ginagrab ko na. Oh, naghiram na ako ng pang ano, pang enroll para try hila. Wala namang ano kasi lahat sir susugal ka eh para lang ano, kikita ka ng pera. Oo, oh, oh, oo, oh. may risk, may risk naman talaga that side. So, yeah, um Luis, hindi siya duman sa free course. Nag-enroll siya agad sa paid course. Um, pero yeah, what a lot of our graduates do, they go through the free course muna. Um, uh, para parang may patikim, they have a taste muna, may and before they enroll sa sa paid course. Um, for exception to Cindy na dumiretso sa paid course. Um, sabi ni Janet, ang galing-galing niya po. May mga, ano, may mga smileys. Um, tanong ni Dennis, do you also do writing for your clients? Yes, sir. Yes. What, what kind of writing do you do? Like, as... Okay. Uh, Sunday, sir, nag-script pagkawa siya ng script. Uh, say for example, uh, mag, mag, ano siya, mag, uh, may, may, may welcome address sa isang, isang event sa kanilang school. So, pagkawa siya ng script. Okay. Eh, hindi naman ako magaling sa English. So, pinapagawa ko yun. Pinapagawa ko sa, uh, yes sir, pinapagawa ko sa kasamahan ko na teacher before na magaling sa English. And then, hati-hati kami sa kita. So, nga na, okay. Yes, sir. So, lahat, pag may mga event, sabi sa akin, okay, can you prepare a PowerPoint for this? Can you prepare a speech for my, ano, magkailan okay siya. So, yun. Pinapagaw ko lang. Pinapag, parang level up. Kasi yun, parang level up na yun. Eh. Pa, ano, yung managing um, a team of, of VAs din. That's parang higher level. Parang agency ka na kayo, no? <laughs> Natutuwa din sila, sir. <laughs> nice, nice. Um, how many, ta- tanong ni Rafael, how many clients do you have right now, Sir B? Actually, sir, I have five clients right now. Pero naka, naka ano yung dal- dalawa. Ang tawag nito, naka-hold yung contract. Ay, naka- naka-post. Yung parang, naka-post, o, oh, yun, yun dalawa. So, Kasi three lang. Kasi wala sa kontrabaho siya Yes sir, three lang pero yung isa doon is by project. Tapos yung dalawa lang ang ano. So yung isa $25, 40 hours a week. Yung isa naman $5 pero 5 hours a week lang. So pinatulan ko yun kasi madali lang naman yung pinapagawa niya. And yung iba pa yung in outsource mo naman yung ibang trabaho. Yes, yeah. oh, ibang trabaho. So, and five clients per dalawa ang nakapos. Um, pero when they have work, inactivate naman ulit yung contract. Yes, inactivate ako sila. Pag ano, may message lang ako na activate us. Kasi ang, ang reason nila, uh, hindi daw nila ako bibitawan. So, sabi ko, bakit hindi nila ako bibitawan? Ayun, kaya pinapost nila. So, di ko alam kung... Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Sir. Di ko alam kung niloloko lang nila ako. <laughs> pero may sahod eh. Oh, bahala kayo ba sa sumahod ako? <laughs> oh, okay na yan. Basta may basta sumahod ka. Um, but I, I think like why they won't let you go, yung isang reason is uh, that, that, like yung sabi ni Maria kanina is dahil sa work ethic mo, pinapakita mo sa kanila yung best mo, yung, yung best version mo. And mm. sa totoo lang, um, online kasi may mga freelancers na that don't that don't show their best parang na that are, that, that parang they show procrastinate yung laziness ganun um, and in you sa mga clients they see your hard work your work ethic so and that's hard to find because that's really hard to find so when a client sees somebody who has a very strong work ethic hay out talaga nila bitawan um, and and i want everyone to learn from that na if you really show your client Uh, yung work ethic. And if if may strong work ethic, that you work hard, you show your best to your clients, your clients won't let you go. Uh, katulad ni Lee, kahit wala silang trabaho mo ibigay, 
ayaw nilang bitawad, ayaw nilang i-stop yung contract. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's a very important lesson I want everybody to take home. Um, tanong ni Alec na, um, na-apply niyo po ba lahat ng natutunan niyo sa bootcamp? Have you earned skills from there that you use now in freelancing? Yes, sir. Uh, yung social media marketing as well as email marketing. Kasi uh, ang, pag may pinapagawa kasi si boss, sometimes pinapa-email sa lahat na teachers sa school niya. So, I did that one. So, na-apply ko po yun. Lahat. Sa, sa, lalo na sa, ano, sa, sa Facebook. Oo. Kasi, sa page talaga tapos minsan pinapa nag, nag-run ka ng ad para lang ma-promote yung school nila para ganun po na-apply po and dati pag ano yung pag nag-apply ka ng nagsabit ka ng proposal kung ano yung natutunan mo doon pag i-apply mo uh, kung baga lamang na lamang ka sa lahat na nag-apply doon yeah and, and that that's that's parang yung yung territory kasi sa bootcamp um, yung focus is parang yung foundational skills talaga na magagamit mo um, kahit anong niche mo um, so yeah, it's good to hear that you're able to use it kahit hindi yun yung main na trabaho mo you're still able to use yung skills na natutunan mo sa ibang modules sa bootcamp yes um daming nagtanong kung may promo ba um mag-email kayo <laughs> Email kayo sa akin, jason at abootcamp.ph. Usap tayo. Yes, yes. Nag-include ba si Sir D ng sample sa kanyang work um, sa mga cover letters or sa profile lab? Yes, sir. Kung ano yung inap, Ayan. So, nag, nag-include po ako ng mag-request naman po sila. Mm-hmm. Pero sa cover letter pa lang, nag-send ka ng mga, ng mga sample work. Okay. Sir, nag-attach po ko. Mm-hmm. Nag-attach mo lang sa, sa, sa cover letter. Oh. Um, yes. Tanong ni Rafael, do you have any plans of, comp- of enrolling sa complete course sa bootcamp? Yes, kasi uh, gusto ko ano mas matuto pa. Hmm. I have plan, pero wala pa kasi akong time sa ngayon. Maybe uh, next next month. So, yun po. O kasi tomorrow is my 28th birthday. <laughs> tomorrow. So, 20 years old. Yes, sir. Tapos pa yung mga... mga... <laughs> Di sa 28 na. Ay, 38 na. Mag-work. Sige, sige. 20th na lang. Oh, 38, sir. <laughs> Joke lang, 28. <laughs> okay lang. Okay lang. Ano? Yung at heart. 28 at heart ka lang. <laughs> heart na lang kayo mukha, Haggard na. <laughs> sige, um, yeah, walang, walang time. <laughs> yung, yung isang problem. Parang busy. So, walang time. But it's good to hear that. Uh, you also want to, to learn more pa rin. Um, I'll, I'll just answer the question if I like say the connection is a bit um, in and out. Um, he's working, I know, nag, nag, he's working usually day shift, pero may times na um, kung may tawag si client na he has to parang early morning, uh, yun ang, mm-hmm. yun ang shifting. Yeah. Uh, buti pa yung clients pag nakita na you're doing your best, di ka pita. May hugot. <laughs> Buti pa yung clients. Um, pag nakita na you're doing your best, di ka binibitawan. Um, oh yeah, um, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ano, happy birthday. Bukas pala, hindi ko na. Happy, happy, happy 28th birthday. Yeah, five hours uh-huh. pala. 28, year, 28 years old. Kaya. 38. <laughs> 28 na lang. 28 lang sabihin natin. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, so, happy birthday. Um, wow, uh, parang yung interview mo is, is the day before your birthday. So, thank you for Wait. taking the time pa rin. Uh. Saan, saan yung ano? Saan yung kainan? Sa Zamboanga City? Yes, sir. Dito, dito, dito lang, mga friends. Oh, sinong ano, makakapunta? <laughs> Layo. 
<laughs> Sige, um, buk tayo lang sa'yo. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, thank you so much, um, Lee, for staying with us. Uh, your your story is very inspiring. I know that we're having some connection issues, and sorry, everybody, uh, you know, may, may connection issues, so hindi perfect yung may may mga lag and ganon. Um, but thank you guys for staying on, kahit may mga issues tayo. It, it wasn't yung, yung connection wasn't perfect. Um, thank you for staying on, and I, I want to thank you, Lee, for taking the time. Um, and kahit you know you, your your main connection is down. Um, you're still um, here with us. Na nagdata ka lang. Um, so thank you so much for for sharing your story um, and you know being here with us. I mean, do you have parang any last piece of advice na you can share with the audience? Ah, uh, oh, so so yun lang. Uh, if if go go lang na nang nang go. And if you can find a client, so make sure to submit your excellent output ahead of time. Mm-hmm. So yun po yun. Kasi uh, yun po talaga yung apusla kumukha ng, ano eh, ng, ng freelancer para mapadali yung work nila at matulungan sila. So yun po, hindi tayo after sa salary. Kasi I'm not after at first sa salary kung ano lang. And sila po yung nagbibigay. Sila po yung nang ano. Dahil na satisfy natin sila. So yun po yung pinakaano ko. And give and, give your best talaga. And, and I, yeah. I totally agree with that. Um really give your best to the clients. Uh, and and then if you show them that how valuable you are, then you will be able to get yung yung, yung earnings will follow like in, in the case that we saw here with the Um thank you so much once again guys. Um thank you so much Lee for staying with us and uh just some announcements. Um, this Friday, don't forget, um, we're talking about, uh, we're, we're going to have you know, part three of our uh, fast track to freelancing. We're going to talk about um, you know, how to get clients, even if you don't have any experience. Um, so that's on Friday at 7 p.m. Um, it'll still be here on the Facebook page. I want everyone to join, um, and I'll see you there. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much, Lee. And have a happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, sir. Uh, have a... Bye. Uh, thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Bye bye.